if you were to go to a church if you were go if you were to go to a group where people are professing to be Christians they may say or most of them or many people may say that they love God that they are willing to do whatever for God okay what are you going to do and what have you been doing when trouble comes your way we can't form an opinion about a person when times are good your opinion is much more accurate when bad times come if good times come if God is giving me everything that I want for most people they may do right by God but what if God doesn't give you everything that you want how are you going to act how long are you going to obey his rules So it is easy for me or a person to say so many good things about God, saying that they are willing to do whatever for God. No. How are you going to act when much more trouble comes? We have to understand that if you are professing to be Christian, a person who serves God, there is going to come a time when much more bad things are going to happen to us. Not this average stuff that is happening to us now, but much more where people are going to hunt down Christians. It may get to that point. So what are you going to do if that happens are you going to back down because the thing that I see it is like a very common thing for people to say that they are Christian like it is as popular I guess I can say as getting a tattoo like just because everyone else is saying that they serve God other people are seeing it too when it does not fit them it is like a trendy thing trendy thing to say that you are a Christian but if you truly monitor that person's life, they don't do anything of God. But they say that they are Christian because everyone else is saying it. I believe when tough persecution comes upon people who truly serve God, no. When tough persecution happens to people who who profess to be Christian, you are really going to see who are the real Christians and who are the people who profess to be Christian, but they are really just like everyone else that sins and who truly don't have a relationship with God. It is so easy to say that you love God. For instance, there are most women and men who have kids say that they love their kids. But many people treat their kids wrongly. So if most people are saying that they love their kids, 
but most people are treating their kids wrongly, that is obviously telling you some people are lying. When people say that they love God and all this stuff here, and you don't see any good fruit in their life, no good attributes of God in their life, that is showing you that many people are lying. And when persecution tougher, much more harsh persecution comes upon people who profess to be Christian, you are really going to see who are who is truly Christian and who are not a Christian. What I am trying to say that is what I am trying to say. What are you going to do when persecution comes upon the church? Many people are going to fold. When they see the bad things that are happening to people who claim to be Christian, many people are going to deny God. I am telling you. Because if you can't do the basics things of God now, when times are not really that bad, what are you going to do when times are hard? You are going to fold. Because the Holy Spirit is not within you now. So how are you going to act when persecution rises? You are going to deny God. So it is going to be much easier to see the people who are actually serving God and the people who are just saying words. They say that they love God, but when a person brings a gun right to their head, they say, hey, I don't know God. I don't know anything about God. I'm telling you, man. I am telling you. Persecution... I don't know why people believe that they are not going to see a rise in persecution. It is going to happen. It is going to happen. So the best thing to do is to prepare yourself now. If you believe that everything is going to be okay and when bad things come, how are you going to react to it? You are not going to be ready. Prepare yourself now. Read your Bible more. Pray more. Listen to teachings more. Prepare yourself now while times are not that bad. So when times get bad, the word is going to be in you. So you know what to expect. You won't be caught off guard. I pray that this makes sense. God bless.